What's up you guys? What is going on and welcome back to another I just created an NFL player in a rugby video game video. Today's video we're going out one player and one number. We're going from 12 to 13. We're going from inside center to outside center. And with that being said, we're going from Saquon Barkley to Leonard Fournette. And to hear that called, man, to hear that called, that, that is a combination that I've imagined in my head many, many times. And uh, we're going to get as close to it as possible through this video series. Today we're creating, once and for all, Leonard Fournette on a rugby video game. The rugby video game is titled Rugby Challenge 3. Um, EA Sports has not brought out a rugby game since Rugby 08. And, uh, well, that's a tragedy. But with that being said, guys, Leonard Fournette is one of my favorite players in the league. He's my favorite running back, and it's time to create him on this game. So with that being said, as is the case with all the other players that I've made, I've got his Madden 20 statistics, and I've also got his profile from NFL.com. And with those stats, we're going to make his player. So let's go. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. <laughs> Create player. I still haven't got sick of this, eh? Big Leonard. Now, I doubt... We've, we've, we've been pretty lucky recently with the, the last names. I doubt where the Fournette will be included in the commentary... Uh, list, but let's see. No, nope, he's going to be called by his position, unfortunately. Okay, we have an age of 25. He's from the United States of America. He's of African ethnicity and he's playing outside center. Right, this is always fun. So, this is your preset statistics for an outside center. Um, in the previous video when we made Saquon, basically this this top five, you know, lines, these top five lines are basically just going to be filled right up. But in looking at Leonard Fournette's statistics, he's not quite on the level of Saquon Barkley, or at least Madden doesn't think so. Um, he's got an he's got an 89 overall rating, and fitness is not on the list. But I am going to make it at 90 speed. 92 acceleration 93 aggression aggression look he does bust into the line pretty hard I'm gonna go I'm gonna go 80 uh, agility 96 now that's that's good breaking tackles I'm gonna have to make this one up and I'm gonna say 90. Tackling? Look, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like he would put his body on the line. I don't know if his technique would be there, but we're gonna call it 60. Passing? He definitely lines up as a receiver. Haven't seen him do too many laterals. We're gonna call it 60. Um, offloading, we'll, we'll, we'll call it 60. Because we don't want him, you know, we don't want him, re we don't want him to be, t we don't want him to be, you know, thrust into the All Blacks and be too out of his depth. General kicking. He's definitely not a kicker. We're going to call it 35. Catching. I'm going to say, I'm going to say 85. I feel like this year he's going to come on as more of a receiving back. If they've got a second threat as a running back. Which I don't know if Jacksonville does. Strength. 81. Mental agility. Now, wow, guys, fuck, I really apologize. I was actually looking at, <laughs> I was looking at Saquon Barkley's statistics, okay? This is, this is going to be interesting. We're going to have to bring these down a bit. Um, acceleration has come from 93 down to 89. Aggression, aggression, you know what? I'm going to put it up to 85 because he does run pretty hard. Agility is coming right down to 84. And break tackle, we're going to keep at 90. The rest we can keep as they are. That's That was a bit interesting. Um, strength is going up to 84. Thank God I saw that. And uh, awareness. 
Being 84 on the game of Madden, we're going to split whatever it is above 50 in half and add it to both mental agility and discipline. But with, with doing that, it's really making these guys make shit decisions on the field in the game. So I'm really, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I don't want to do that, but in saying that we do want them you know, we do want a really, if we do want a, a realistic sort of simulation of an NFL player trying to play football, trying to play rugby, it's very hard to do these videos and know exactly what to do because you've got to weigh it up between them performing in the game and them being, you know, as accurate as possible. Um, he's 84 awareness. That's 34 above 50. We're going to divide that by two. That's 17. We're going to go. We're going to go 60. 67 mental agility and 67 discipline and jumping will leave at 50. Okay. <laughs> that, it actually kind of looks like them already, doesn't it? If we, you know what, if we go straight to, literally if we do nothing else but go down here and go like this. There he is! Bro, that's him! <laughs> um, hang on. Or is that him? Is that him? Or is that him? No, that's him. That's him. Dark brown. Let's have a look at these beard beard styles again. Um, or is that it? No, it's not. Let me have a look. You know what? We're going to call it that. Okay. Attributes done. Now, I'm going to change his ears for once. I've ne I haven't done this yet, but. Funnily enough, his, his ears are quite small, so I'm going to make them like literally like that. <laughs> well, you know, why not? Um, okay. Uh, what's, his, what's his neck? His neck's pretty wide. Um, yeah, he's got a, sort of a short, a shorter head. I'm going to... We're gonna we're gonna go like that. We're gonna go like that, and then we're gonna we're gonna go like that, <laughs> and then and then we're gonna go like like that. We're gonna give him a bit of bit of neck width and some traps, and that, my friends, is Leonard Fournette. <laughs> now, he's six foot or 182 and 228 pounds or 103 kg. So we're going to go slightly taller at 182. Okay, we'll give you 183 and we'll go 102. Torso. Hmm, he's kind of, he's not, he's not that ripped to be fair. Uh, keep him. We'll keep him half defined. Arms. He's not. He's not. He's not super huge, is he? Big legs, though. Shit, that does kind of look like Leonard Fournette, doesn't it? The way that we're going to be able to find him on the field is we're going to give him purple sleeves and purple boots. And with that being said. That's Leonard Fournette. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to find him now. Where is he? Created players. Mm, it's in alphabetical order. There he is. <laughs> Leonard Fournette. An 88 overall outside center from the USA. Who's going to be lining up for the Mighty All Blacks. Because what happened is Leonard Fournette 
played college rugby in the States. And then he moved to New Zealand, where he plied his trade in Canterbury football, worked his way up, finally got picked for the All Blacks, and now the All Blacks are about to play a test match against the USA. It's, uh, it's going to be a big one for Leonard Fournette. He's, uh, he's lining up, he's starting. It's his first start, it's his debut cap. He's playing outside centre, and you're about to see it right now. So all I can say is, I hope you enjoyed the video, and enjoy this one. It's just a bit of fun. It's the closest thing we're ever going to get to see Leonard Fournette playing professional rugby. And I hope you enjoy. Peace. The USA are one of the real improvers in world rugby. Some famous upset victories in their history, not a team to be taken lightly. The All Blacks have to be the clear favourites going into this. They're clearly in a different class. And with me on the commentary is Justin Marshall. Beautiful conditions here, Justin. Definitely couldn't ask for better. Well, it's a full house here, and just listen to the noise they're already making. They are pumped up. We're set for what should be a great encounter. Your blacks get ready for the hucker. And I still get goosebumps every time. And we're almost set to go. And away we go. Thikatoa waits. He's taken down hard. He's got to let it go now. Dan Carter feeds it on. Messam takes some stopping in that run. He keeps the ball moving. Gives it short. Passes delivered inside. Thikatoa running out top speed. On his way to the try line. And he's over for their first try. Just showed great pace there to score the try. He only needs a little space to work with. Absolutely exceptional try. Has to be said, there's been some really solid performances. Yep, that's right, Justin. It was a beautifully timed run, and the gap, well, it just opened up. Yes, you're absolutely right. Conversion coming up. Carter lines this one up right in front. Straight forward kick this one. No trouble with that. Two more points. The restart. Messam takes in the kickoff. Goes to ground quickly. Aaron Smith delivers it on. And he's dragged down. He pushes the pass further. USA in recovery mode. Dan Carter kicking straight down to the defense. Williams is absolutely smashed. Ball's being contested. There's some real force in this defence. The centre stops him now. Turnover. Great work at the breakdown. Ma'anonu wanting some support. Big 
hit there. Kevin, the alarm have brought down now. They find themselves in a good attacking position now. Spins it on. Sam Whitelock sells the little dummy. Julian Sabi with a searching run. He gets inside the five. They're under a little bit of pressure. He'll just about get there. USA doing well to hold on here. Here's a chance. Real chance here. And in the corner, try and score. They just keep building pressure and the try just had to come in the end. Next up, we'll have the conversion. Well, it doesn't get much tougher than this as he tries for the extra two right out by the sideline. Now the kick, and just wide by the looks of it. It's close, but he can't add the points. It wasn't an easy kick. Edwards restarts. Kick off, drag down. They're playing well at the moment. And it comes back, great work. And he's shaken up by that one. Having a go at the ball. Coleman runs a straight line at the defence. Somehow he's managed to grab that back. the ball and runs at the defence. The All Blacks, I think they still have this ball. And he's shaken up by that one. Stewart, a little careful with that bouncing ball. Gets it after the bounce. Brody Retallick is absolutely smashed. Well played. Good ball retention here. Steps back inside and beats the tackler. Good run, but an even better tackle. Back he goes. He spreads it. Carter with the kick to get them out of their 22. American line-out ball. One against the throw. And they'll look to get a drive on here. McCaw has it as they try to keep this moving. Easily beats the defender. Pass inside. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. Aaron Smith takes it. Same way. Rutgers form the has to release. Aaron Smith finds a teammate. He's not letting go. He pushes it on. Edwards takes him down. Aaron Smith feeds it off now. Richie McCaw takes him in a nice tackle. Sam Whitelock delivers it to a runner. There's a go at the defence. Sends a good pass. Wyatt's pocket stops him with a nice tackle. Mialamu picks it up. The centre stretches his legs. Very good defence here. There's the ball. Reed has it now. Sold that dummy nicely. Mialamu pushes it on. There's no one near him. It's a certain try. He's over. They deserved that, didn't they? They built that try. You can see his pace here. It is remarkable. 
No one could catch him. But it was a great pass that set him up. Bang on, Justin. The conversion is coming up. Dan Carter with the kick, looking to add points. And it looks like he'll get this. And the conversion is successful. They're really dominating this match now. 19-0 at the break here. We have a full house here in Waikato Stadium. This match has been highly anticipated. The All Blacks have done very well. They've dominated the first half. And you'd have to say pretty much all one-way traffic, Justin. Everything has been going their way. When you're in good form, it's amazing how often good luck will come. Let's have a quick flick through the stats. You can see they managed to retain possession well. That hit-up stat shows just how much work they've been putting in. We are all ready for the second half. Good number of hit-ups in this match. They continue to try and barge through that defensive line. That tackle hasn't slowed him down. He's trying to turn it over quickly. And he goes inside. Brought down eventually, finally. Ma'anonu moves it on. He scoops ahead. Advantage. And he's lost the ball forward. Playing advantage. It's a shame because he was in such a great position. Yeah, he couldn't handle the ball and then knocked it on. He'll be annoyed at that. First Ouch. scrum in the game. Fine. Plenty of pressure on this scrum. Set. And a good battle going on here. Both teams putting pressure on. And he loses some ground there. The ref wants him to let go of it. Chase gets it away. Now the chaser is coming forward onto this. Quick delivery. Karen Reed gets through the attempted tackle. Delivers it back inside. Liam Messam has no answer to that tackle. Good run here. Breaks the first tackle. No stopping him there. Fekatoa keeps the ball moving. And he's pounded into the ground. Brody Rotel has the ball. This time he's brought to the ground. Reed keeps it going. He gets through another. Good run this. Textbook tackle. Aaron Smith has it out the back. He's run into a good tackle there. Tackle's not enough. Back he goes. No way through there. And it comes back. Great work. Release. Have to release the ball now. Now he gets the ball away. Given the alarm. Running strongly. And he shells the dummy. Got through the first tackle. Now taken Release. down hard. Have to release the ball now. Aaron Smith pushes through. Strong running. Ball's being contested. They want to try and capitalise on this. Coleman makes the tackle. Kieran Reed picks it out of the back. Shut down with a brutal tackle. Release. The ref wants him to let go of it. Liam Messam pulls it out of the back. McCaw shows great strength to get through that one. Ma'anonu gathers it out of the back. Lovely tackle. He spreads it. It's taken down in a hard tackle. Kevin Mialamu finds support. Ma'anonu gets him go forward in that carry. 
Lialamu takes it out of the back. Look at his run. This is close to the try line here. And that's a line out. Adams grabs it. Adams dragged it down nicely. Well, they're going to have to release shortly. Coleman trapped near his own goal line. Strong defense. Release. He's got to let it go now. Chase gives it off now. Inside with that pass. That's got them on the back foot. Oh, they've only got a few minutes to make something. Now smashed by the defence. Messam, oh, Release. so close. Ruck is formed, he has to release. Franks nailed in that tackle. <laughs> He's nearly there, what a run. All the way to the chalk. Release. Riff wants him to let go of it. Dan Carter smashed hard. And he's crunched to the ground hard. So, just a few minutes remaining here. And it's in touch. This match just about over here. McCaw is the target. Stewart takes it in the air. It was a good catch under pressure. You've got to be calm in those situations. And he did it well. And that will be the game. New Zealand jump in the air. They have the win. The All Blacks victorious here. It was a pretty decent match. Comfortable winners in the end. Not many penalties were given away. The discipline was well contained. They did good work with controlling the field this game. They barely gave an inch. So a good result. And the outcome, well, it's exactly as we thought it would go. So it's all finished here. The All Blacks with the victory. On behalf of Justin and myself, bye for now.